to the video today, everybody. Uh, I'm going to be doing what I think is the easiest way of making background buildings in Lumion. As you saw in the uh, video that I opened up this YouTube video with, um, they are pretty realistic looking and they're extremely easy to make. What I like the most about them is that all of those lights that are lit up are actually a material. And that is really big for Lumion because you can just save it into your custom materials, pull it out whenever you need. And um, all you really need to make these background buildings are extremely beginner friendly models in SketchUp. Um, it's the kind of building that you could literally make if you had just learned SketchUp five minutes ago. Um, but if you don't want to make them yourselves, I also put uh, five free buildings up on the 3D warehouse that you can uh, kind of play around with. So I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed the video. So the first thing that we're going to need to uh, do this tutorial is you're going to need to get Substance Player uh, from Adobe. It's it's completely free. You just download it and it's pretty much ready to go. The reason why we need that, though, is that we need to be able to um, edit uh, SBSAR files, um, which is just the Substance uh, file type. So what's kind of cool about this is you are going to be able to actually like adjust the materials while they're in the, the player. So that's what I'm going to get into now. Um, you also will need to make an Adobe account just to get the free um, the free building model or the free building texture rather. But um, I just want to talk about these for a bit because this is really interesting and I've never seen substance textures used in this kind of manner. So basically what they did is they made a material that can be adjusted, but it just looks like a building. So I think the one that I was using is this, uh, the chamfered concrete building. So as you can see, it's free um, and we can just quickly take a look at some of this. I am going to open up in the player um, so that we can take a better look at it. But as you can see, um, it kind of looks like a building and you can go like, you know, 10, 30. So you can kind of change the window size um, and you can play around with it like that. Um, so, yeah, th this part's pretty easy. You just need an Adobe account. If you have one, just log in, download um, one of these textures. It doesn't really matter. You just want a free one. And then you also have to get the substance player, which there is a link below the video. Um, that one is just kind of installed in your computer and it's not a problem. Um, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the one that I downloaded, which is the chamfered building right here. Okay. So this is kind of what it comes in as now I am going to increase the output size up here to two, two K just so it's a little bit sharper. Um, I might do it for four K um, when I actually export it, but just for this, this is uh, fine. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about where you can sort of customize how it looks. Uh, so for the curtains opening, like you can, as you can see, if you drag this around, the curtains will actually move. Um, so if you want to have kind of like an office building, you could just crank that all the way up because they don't typically have windows. But if you want to do something that was like multi-res, um, just in a residential area, then you can just have some um, blinds like that. You could also change one uh, side of your building to a different texture so that you could um, output these ones with blinds when it's facing the sun. And then uh, when it's away from the sun, you just have them up. Um, but yeah, things like dirt intensity. So if we kind of zoom in here, you can make the building, um, you know, look a little like grungy. Um, you can take the concrete roughness, turn that down and turn the metallic up. And then you get more of this like metallic look to it. It's not really important. This really is just like whatever you think looks best. Um, but I did want to kind of touch on that. But the thing about this that I think is like hands down, the thing that makes this so incredible is the night lights. Watch what happens when I click this on. As you can see, all the lights, like not all of them, I guess, probably about 50% of them are on, but with different um, brightness. So it really does look like it's a completely... Uh, you know, like it's a building that's inhabited. And if you want to make this maybe a little bit more orange, you can come in right here. You know, as you can see, if I change this, the lights are changing. Maybe I'll change it to something that's like green just so you can pick it up. As you can see, when I do that, then the, uh, you now you have these green lights in there. Uh, but we are just going to change that back to like an orange. So I think that that's probably a pretty good around like here, uh, just for what we're doing. Um, but yeah, if you got to this point, this is more or less all you really need. Um, you could do multiple ones if you want, but I think that this is kind of, uh, this is good enough just for what I want to show. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new folder on my desktop. So I'll call this building output. And then I'm going to, once I'm happy with how this looks, I'm just going to come up here and go export as bitmap browse. And then I'm going to go to my building output folder. 
select the folder, and then I'm going to turn off diffuse, specular, roughness, metallic, specular level, and ambient occlusion. So these are going to be the five maps that are going into uh, Lumion. And this emissive map is what I was talking about with this is why it's important to use Photoshop. You could get away with not making a gloss map, but for this, I think you really need the emissive map. Um, so I'm going to save this as a PNG. You can do Targa. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to export these though. And I could have made that 4k, but it's not really a big deal. If the, if the building's up close, you can do it. But since these are background buildings, I think 2k should be fine. All uh, right. So now I'm going to go into Photoshop. I guess I'll, uh, make sure that Lumion's open. So I have my, uh, downtown scene here. Um, and while these are actually loading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get one of those SketchUp models that I was talking about in the warehouse. So I just made like five really like low quality buildings, but I'm going to show you kind of why I think they work. They, they're, uh, not only they're not going to take up much of your scene, but they're just, uh, they, I think they look really good. So, uh, let's go to my content and you just type in uh, Lumion building set or whatever, then there's going to be five quick options here. So maybe I'll download this one. So I'll drop that in the scene. And then this is what it looks like. As you can see, literally just two textures, um, very crude, uh, push, pull, that kind of stuff. Uh, but that is really all we need. So we're going to go to save as, uh, we're going to go to, uh, building output. We're going to call this building one. And then, uh, we'll go back into Photoshop just because of that, um, Lumion's ready to go. SketchUp's ready to go. Now we just need to actually make the texture. So building output, I'm going to take the base color and drop it into Photoshop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the emissive uh, map. I'm going to drag it over here because I don't want to drop it. If I drop it over here, like inside the working area, it'll go as a layer, but I want it to be its own tab. So I drop it right here. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control a to select it all control X to cut it just because I like to know that it's been, you could just do uh, C for copy, but I like to know that it's been, uh, I like to know that it's been, uh, saved. So, or to cut. So I just like to see it. Uh, then what I'm going to do is in the base color, I'm going to go over here to, um, what is this here? I think it's just like add layer. So I want the alpha channel or add channel. That's what it is. So you're going to add the alpha in control V and we turn that back on. It should look like this. So everything that is red is not going to be emissive. Um, so as you can see, like all these little kind of like blips in here, uh, these are all going to be emissive and some of these areas here, it might look uh, like it's red, but that is actually a little bit black. So it's going to look really good once this is done. Uh, we're going to now go to file and we're going to go to Targa. I, I think you could save it as like .dds or whatever. I just do Targa because I think Lumion changes it anyway. So it's not a big deal. I'm going to call this mask chamfered concrete building base color mask. Okay. And this has to be 32 bits. So that's really important that you do that. Uh, and once we do that, we can just kind of close this out because we've already saved it. So we don't need it. And then we're going to drag in the normal. And we're going to drag in the glossiness. So again, control a control X, uh, add the, um, add a channel control V. Now we have our, uh, gloss mask. Um, but you will notice something happens here. So if I go to save as we go to Targa, it's not here. Um, and this is something that I've actually had some problems with in other textures. So this is the solution. So in the other one, it was eight bits a channel, which Lumion uses a 32 bit of channels. Um, so there's red, blue, green, and also the alpha eight each, which is 32. Uh, but the problem is, is that this normal map, uh, maybe it's just because it's from substance. Um, it is set to 16. So if we just go eight bits, uh, the other thing that I thought kind of looked better too, is if you click on this green channel and hit control I, it inverts it. Um, I couldn't really tell. I just didn't like how this one went in. I didn't know if this was it or like supposed to be like this or not, but it seemed like the seams of like the concrete kind of went, not the seams, but like, uh, it seemed like it kind of indented where I wanted it to be put out like this. So I do think that the green is supposed to be inverter for this. Um, it just, uh, I found it looks better, but it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, uh, but now that that's all done, we go to save as Targa, and then I'll just call this normal mask. Okay. So that's ready to go. 
now we can uh, start bringing in some of our buildings. So I have all these ones uh, right here, but as you can see, I, I downloaded from like one of them from the uh, from the warehouse. Like I'm just gonna use the ones I have right here because it's a little bit faster. Um, so I'll, I already have these in here, but uh, so maybe if I go like this, then I'll import uh, building two, something like that. And they're they're all weird sizes, but you can just rescale them pretty easy in uh, Lumion. So I wouldn't worry too too much about that. Uh, I'll throw this one over here. Um, and then building four. And then I will do building five. Okay, so we have all of our buildings in here. Uh, now we just need to set the uh, texture up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click on this area here. And as you can see, all the like buildings, three windows, all that stuff, it's kind of separated out. This one's Marble Cabrera, but it still works the same way, or Carrera. Uh, standard, we're going to go to the color map. We're going to pick the uh, base color mask. Uh, just give this a second. And you're going to see that when this does load in, it's going to be transparent. Um, if we kind of scale this up a little bit, as you can see, we are only kind of getting these like little weird, like, uh, outlines of the windows. That's because by default, when you bring in a, uh, the alpha channel for the color map, uh, it's set to clipping. So we want to change this to emissive. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to then put the, uh, normal mask on. And then that's looking pretty good already. But the problem is, is that there's no, like, there's no light. Uh, light coming from the windows. So what we then do is just increase the emissive a little bit. And then as you can see, that's when it really starts to work. And that's when it really comes together. Um, so now we can throw in the concrete and we're just going to make black concrete for this, but you can really use whatever you want. Uh, just something like this. That should be good. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to put it on all of the uh, kind of the outside of the windows, like, or the, uh, the building. Um, you could wrap this texture all the way around, but I found I was getting kind of like some weird windows right on the corner. So I decided to just put like a little frame around it and that seemed to work really well. And this goes like that. Um, and something I'd also recommend you do is that since this kind of does take a bit of time to set up in Photoshop, uh, click right here. Uh, when you're happy with your material, click on it and then go to save material to custom material. So I'll call this one building windows one hit okay and i already had this one saved in when i was kind of testing some of this stuff but now if you click on this one custom materials and then it's right here and this will persist through all the files so once you set this up once you really just need the crappy sketchup models uh and you can just keep motoring through everything so you should only have to set up this substance stuff once um, if you save it and so then we have that for this one i'll just copy it go like that and then what I'm also going to do is just, uh, I'm going to rescale some of these because they do look kind of weird. Um, so this one I will scale down. This one will scale up. And this one maybe scale up a bit. And I think that that should be pretty good. Like, you know, there's a lot of things I could do to kind of make this um, look a little bit better. I think I will give a bit of a gap between some of these. But you really can just play around with it um, until you're happy with how it looks. Um, I, I find that these kind of add a lot to these like city scenes because the Lumion buildings are, you know, not the best. <laughs> there's no like, you know, there's no lights on in the windows and stuff like that. So if I just push this away, something like that. And then this one I want to come over a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. So then basically what we can do is we can just come in here, set, I guess I'll just start from the beginning so you can see what I did, but uh, we just take this, uh, we go to night, and then that's pretty much good to go, but you can play around with, oh, not the skylight. Uh, oh, it doesn't have real skies in it, so I'll put one of those in. Um, so this is sky, real skies. Uh, and I'm gonna make this night maybe. And so you can kind of play around with this until you find one that you're happy with. But uh, I think maybe just this with the brightness down. It's good for me. And I'm also going to disable the sun here. 
So yeah, um, and that's just a quick way that you can make background buildings. There's a ton of other um, options that you can go through here. I actually went and bought all of them because um, I really, really like these. So I want to play around with all of them. Um, but as you can see, you get kind of like more standard buildings. Um, but these are the ones I was interested in because as you can see, it's just so quick to make these like, um, you know, lived in background buildings. If you want to turn the emissive strength down, you can just come in here. Uh, you might have to do it individually um, when you actually throw it on here. Yeah, you do. But um, you, you can also just kind of bring up the map scale a little bit if you think that the windows are too small. Um, and you can just kind of play around with it until you get the effect that you uh, think looks best. There will be some tiling. So, you know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if you do, you can just go and kind of cut the materials in half and then just sort of link them up. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that everyone found this video um, helpful and uh, interesting because when we and uh, me and Nick, my business partner, found out about these, we were just like, wow, this is this is so, so cool that they have this. I, I, I really haven't seen anyone talk about it, but um, you can just make so many uh, quick buildings doing this and you really only need a couple of textures like um, even though we went through and made it like this, like you can go in and adjust so many things inside a substance player that you can really get the effect that you want. Um, and yeah, I would definitely recommend, uh, buying these to anyone that, um, that is uh, kind of on the fence, I guess, about, um, getting maybe a substance account, or if you just need to do like large scale scenes, um, as I said, these are all using the same texture, so they're not going to take up too much space. Uh, and they're also extremely simple files. Like I think all of these buildings put together are like half a megabyte. Or something like that so they're they're very very cost effective um but yeah i'm gonna leave it there uh hopefully um you guys will uh like and subscribe if you're not already um it's been uh, really nice to see the channel kind of uh, picking up some subscribers lately um just because there's more people that we can kind of reach out to um you know meet with people all around the world that are interested in doing arch viz like we are uh and that's always pretty cool uh if you are subscribed uh i just want to say thank you very much uh hopefully uh, you'll continue to uh subscribe to my content, watch all my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great night.